Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. I finally got the Christmas Lace Doily video finished. This is called the Christmas Lace Doily. It's pattern number XMAS1, Xmas1. It is available on my website, creativegrandma.net. Go to the shop button at the top of the screen when you get to the website. And then another screen will come up and it will say Creative Grandma Patterns. Click on that and you can see all the patterns I have available. So I'll be right back. I'll tell you what you need to make this doily and what size hook and we'll get this project started. To make this project you're going to need some size 10 crochet cotton thread and I suggest if you're going to make several of these doilies it's better to get yourself one of these large thousand yard balls of the Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. Makes it nice and easy. And then just buy the smaller ball of whatever accent color you want. You're going to need a size B1 crochet hook and that is a 2.25 millimeter and a small pair of scissors to just cut your thread. So I'll be right back to get this started. I have my loop on my hook and to start this project we need to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now round one will be the hardest because this is size 10 thread and it's really tiny so it's really hard to grab a hold of stuff and forgive my awful fingernails I was cleaning my mom's basement and they really look rough and need need a a pamper job in my spare time but anyhow uh, we chain five we're going to slip stitch our chain five together to form a ring so you skip the first four chain from hook go in that last chain and slip stitch your ring together okay so for round one I'm going to try to pull this apart we're going to be working right here in the center of this chain five ring we just made so if you are possibly hopefully have some long fingernails you're going to have to try to grab this any way you can until you get that first round made okay so round one we're going to chain four one, two, three, and four. The chain four counts as the first half double crochet plus a chain two. So now we need to work a half double crochet in the ring and chain two eight times. So let's start. I'm going to try to grab a hold of this. Like I said, round one is the hardest round for me. I just I just have trouble grabbing it. Yarn over the hook. Insert it in the center of that chain five loop. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through that center of your ring. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's your first double crochet. Kind of hard to see <laughs> on your first round. You'll, you'll see it better when we're done with round one. You're going to chain two. And we need to do that seven more times. So I'll show you one more time. Yarn over the hook. Insert it into the center of that ring. Yarn over the hook. Pull it through the ring. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on your hook. Chain two. So we've done that two times. There's our half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, chain two. We needed to do that eight times. So you need to repeat that six more times around your ring. Go ahead and do that and I'll meet you when you get done with your next six half double crochet chain two. I'm at the end of round one and when you count your beginning chain two space, I'll put my finger behind it, it's easier to see right now. 
you should have a total of nine half double crochet. So count your first beginning chain two as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You end with the chain two, and we're going to come over here and we're going to count up to the second chain one, two. Insert your hook into that second chain of the beginning chain four. Yarn over the hook and pull it through. You just joined round one together. So now for round two, pull this apart here a little bit. So for round two, we're going to slip stitch in our beginning chain two space and we're going to work a cluster stitch in each chain two space around with the chain three in between. Now a cluster stitch is a total of three double crochet half worked keeping the last loop of each stitch on the hook and then we yell and pull through all loops on the hook. So let's begin. We're going to slip stitch into that chain two space, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook because you just want to be in the center of that beginning chain two space. So now for a cluster stitch, the first cluster stitch when you begin a row or a round is always different because you got to remember that first stitch you have to create using chain stitches. So a double crochet will chain two because we only want half the double crochet to start and we need to make two more double crochet half worked. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. You have three loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have two double crochet half worked. We need one more. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain space, yarn over the hook, pull it back through. You have four loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have your three double crochet half worked and you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops. Your first cluster has been made. So now we're going to chain three. One, two, whoops, and three. So this is going to be our repeat. We're going to make a cluster in the next chain two space, and then we're going to chain three. A cluster in the next chain two space, and then we're going to chain three. So let's continue that around. So I'll show you one more time how to make a cluster stitch. A cluster stitch again is three double crochet half work keeping the last loop of each stitch on the hook and then putting your yarn over and pulling through all loops on the hook. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that next chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. You have three loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. You now have four loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have two double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. You now have five loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have four loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on your hook. You're going to chain three, two, and three. So that is your repeat. So go ahead and work around again double crochet cluster in the next chain two space, chain three, your cluster stitch in the next chain two space, chain three, cluster stitch in the next chain two space, chain three, just repeat that around. You're going to end with the chain three. I'll meet you at the end of round two and show you how to join. I'm at the end of round two and you should have a total of nine clusters and nine chain three spaces. So to join this round we're going to come up here to the top of our cluster. 
So go right here in this top of that stitch, yarn over the hook, and pull through all loops on your hook. Now I'm going to fasten off because we need to use our accent color next for round three. So I'm fastening off my work. And I'll be right back to start round three. We're getting ready to start round three. So I usually leave about two to three inches of thread. I butt it right up against the piece I fastened off. And we're going to start right in that beginning chain three space right after your joining stitch. We joined here. We're just going to come over here to this first chain three space, grab that new color and pull it through. So for round three, we're going to do almost the same thing as we did in round two. We're going to work a cluster stitch, chain three, but we're going to do it twice in each chain three space around. So in round two, we did it once. In round three, we're just going to do cluster stitch, chain three, cluster stitch, chain three in each chain three space around. So the first cluster, we're going to chain two yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain three space, yarn over the hook and bring it through the chain three space. Three loops on hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through. Four loops on hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You have your three half double crochet, you have your three double crochet half worked, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops on your hook. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. So now we need to make another cluster stitch and another chain three in the same chain three space. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the space. You have three loops on hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain three space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. You have four loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain three space, yarn over the hook and pull it through. You now have five loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have your three double crochet half worked, four loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on your hook. You just done your first cluster chain three cluster, now we need another chain three. One, two, three. So this is what your repeat will be in each chain three space around. So I'll show you one more time yarn over the hook and we're going to work three double crochet half worked. There is one. Yarn over the hook, work our second double crochet half worked. There's two. Yarn over the hook and work our third double crochet half worked. There's three. We should have four loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on the hook. Chain three. One, two, three. I pull my stitches over, just pull them over slightly. Now we're going to work another cluster. I'm going to flip this over and cut them. I already worked over my ends to secure them. So I'm just going to snip that off because I can't stand them in my way when I'm crocheting. Okay, sorry about that. Now we're going to work our next cluster. Yarn over the hook and work our first double crochet half worked. Two loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook. Work our second double crochet half worked. Three loops on the hook. And we work our third double crochet half worked. And we have four loops on the hook. So yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops. 
we need to make another chain three. One, two, three. So that's your repeat. You're going to work a cluster stitch, chain three, cluster stitch, chain three, in each chain three space around. So go ahead and work around and I will meet you at the end of round three. I'm at the end of round three and you should have a total of 18 clusters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we have eighteen clusters and eighteen chain three spaces. So we're just going to fasten that together. We're going to go up here to the top of that beginning cluster, insert your hook, yarn over the hook and pull through all loops on the hook. You just slip stitched round three together. <clears throat> I'm going to fasten off. So I'm getting ready to start round four. So we need to pull our white back through or whatever color you're using for your background color. So I'm going to insert my hook into the beginning chain three space. So you joined here, you just bring your hook over to that chain three space. I have about two to three inches. I bought it right up against the thread I fastened off. And for round four, we're going to repeat the same thing we did for round three. So pull that new color through. We're going to work a cluster stitch and then a chain three twice in each chain three space. So chain two, one, two, yarn over the hook and work that second double crochet half worked yarn over the hook and we're going to work our third double crochet half work that beginning chain two counted as the first half double crochet half work or the first chain two counted as the first double crochet half worked so three loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on your hook you're going to chain three and then we need to make another cluster stitch in the same chain three space. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain three space, pull through, work your first double crochet half worked, two loops on the hook, yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain three space, pull the yarn through, yarn over the hook and pull through two loops only. You now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain three space. Yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You have four loops on your hook and you have three double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on the hook. Chain three. So that is your first cluster, chain three, cluster, chain three. So we're going to do that again in each chain three space around. So I'll show you one more time. Yarn over the hook and we're going to work our first cluster which is three double crochet half worked. There's one. Yarn over the hook and work the second double crochet half worked. There's two. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet half worked. And there's three. You should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on your hook. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to work one more cluster stitch. Yarn over the hook, work your first double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook, work your second double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet half worked. Because you did the cluster stitch so many times, I'm not going into detail about each step you take. So four loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it for, through all four loops. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. So that's your repeat. You're going to repeat that again 
a cluster stitch, chain three, cluster stitch, chain three, in each chain three space around. So I will meet you at the end of round four and you should end with a chain three and I'll show you how to join. I'm at the end of round four and this is what your work should look like. You should have 36 clusters and 36 chain three spaces. So I'm going to join. We're just going to go up here to the top of our cluster stitch. Insert into the top of that stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull it through the stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. You just slip stitched round four together. Now we're going to go over here and we're just going to insert our hook into that chain three space, yarn over and pull it through all your loops on your hook. And we did that because we wanted to slip stitch over to where we're going to start. We're going to start in this beginning chain three space and we're going to chain one and we're going to work a single crochet into the center of that chain three space. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. So our repeat will be, we're going to single crochet into the next chain three space. So this is the start of our repeat. And you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's all there is to it for, row, for round five. Your repeat will be single crochet into the next chain three space, chain five. Single crochet into the next chain three space, chain five. Continue that around and I will meet you at the end of round five. I'm at the end of round five and this is what your work should look like. I'm going to go ahead and join. We're going to slip stitch in the beginning single crochet. So I ended with the chain five. You come over to your beginning single crochet, insert your hook in that single crochet, yarn over and pull through all loops on your, on your hook. Okay, so I need to start round six, but we need to be in the center of this chain five space. So I'm just going to insert my hook and slip stitch across those first three chain. One, two, three, four, and right in the center of that third chain of that beginning chain five. Okay, so for round six, we're going to double crochet, chain two, double crochet in each chain five space around. So for the first double crochet, we're going to chain three, but because we need a double crochet chain two, we need a chain three for the first double crochet, and we need to add two chain for the chain two. So we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And again, the first three chain is the double crochet and then we need the chain two that goes over to help make our little V stitch. So yarn over the hook and we need to make our double crochet insert into that same chain five space, yarn over the hook, pull it through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, pull through two loops yarn over your hook and pull through two loops. So again, the chain three is your first double crochet, the other chain two is your chain two space, and then your double crochet for the V stitch. So now to start the repeat, the repeat is very simple. You're going to work a double crochet, yarn over the hook, work a double crochet into that next chain five space, You're going to chain two, and then you're going to work another double crochet in the same chain five space. So yarn over the hook and make your next double crochet. 
you just made your V stitch. So I'll show you one more time. This is your repeat. You'll do this in each center of each chain five space around. You're going to yarn over and make a double crochet. Chain two. Yarn over and make a double crochet. So go ahead and work that around, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in each chain five space around. I will meet you at the end of round six. I'm at the end of round six and this is what your work should look like. I'm getting ready to join, so what we're going to do is we're going to count up to the third chain, one, two, three of the beginning chain five. So go into that third chain, yarn over, and pull through all loops on your hook. You just slip stitched your round together. So round seven is basically the same as round six, only we're going to be working in the chain two spaces instead of the chain five. So we're going to slip stitch across, just insert it into that chain space and slip stitch. You're in the center of the stitch then. We're going to chain five, one, two, three. The first chain three is our double crochet and we need to add two more chain for the chain two. So you have a total of chain five. We're going to yarn over and double crochet in that same beginning chain two space. So you just made your first double crochet V stitch. So all you're going to do for round seven is you're going to do the same as round six. You're going to yarn over, you're going to work a double crochet into that next chain two space. You're going to chain two and work a double crochet in that same chain two space. So you're just going to repeat that around you're going to double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and you're going to work that in each chain two space around. So go ahead and work that around and I will meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven and this is what your work should look like. So now I'm going to go up to the top of the chain three. You have actually a chain five here we're going to count up to the third chain. One, two, three, insert your hook. Whoops, can't get my yarn. Put your yarn over your hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. You just slip stitched rows round seven together. So now I'm just going to fasten off. And I just my yarn over my hook twice and make two chain pull that thread out and then just pull it down and just be careful how tight you pull it because you could break that thread I'll weave this in later so now we're going to start round eight round eight you're going to grab your accent color mine is the red so I'm going to grab my victory red I leave a small piece about two inches maybe three and I just hold it up against the thread that I just fastened off with. So we're going to start in this beginning chain two space right where you fastened off and for round eight we're going to work a cluster, a chain three, and a cluster in each chain two space around. So insert your hook in that beginning chain two space and remember for the first cluster stitch it'll always be different because you're chaining for that first double crochet. So we're going to chain two, one, two, we're going to work two more double crochet half worked, so yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only you now have two loops on your hook. We need to make one more double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook, 
insert it in that chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. You should have four loops on your hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. If you look at your work, you have one, two, three double crochet half worked. So now we're going to yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on the hook and that is your first cluster. So again, we need to make a cluster, chain three, and a cluster all in this same beginning chain two space. So I grab my work and I pull it a little bit to the right, over there out of the way. Chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to make another cluster. So again, that's three double crochet half worked and then join them all together. So yarn over the hook, insert into that same beginning chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the stitch. You should have three loops. The center one will be slanted and then you're going to yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You'll have two loops on your hook. We need to make two more double crochet half worked yarn over the hook, insert it into that same beginning chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through that space. You will have four loops on your hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. Now you have two of your three half worked double crochet on your hook. You need to make one more double crochet half worked, yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, bring it through the space. You now have five loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. If you look at your work, you will have your three double crochet half worked and four loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through all loops on your hook. That was your first cluster. So for this round we're not chaining between the clusters in between the double clusters. We're only working a cluster, chain three cluster. And then we're going to jump over to this next V stitch and you'll find your chain two space here. We're going to work a cluster, chain three cluster. So yarn over the hook insert it into that next chain two space. This is the start of your repeat. Yarn over the hook and pull it through that chain two space. Three loops on hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. That is your first double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space. Yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. Three loops on hook yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have two double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space. Yarn over the hook and pull it through that space. You now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have three double crochet half worked, four loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on your hook. That is the first half of your double crochet cluster you're making. You need to chain three, one, two, three, and now we need to make one more cluster in the same chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the chain two space three loops on hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through that space. Four loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have three loops on your hook and two double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook and pull it through that space. You now have five loops on your hook, 
yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. You now have four loops on your hook and three double crochet half worked. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all four loops on your hook. That is the repeat. You will make one cluster, a chain three, and one cluster in each chain two space around of each v-stitch. So make sure you follow your v-stitch and then go in that chain two space. Jump over to the next chain two space of that next v-stitch and you're going to work a cluster, chain two, cluster in each chain two space. Go ahead and work that around and I will meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight and I laid this down because I did want to show you that this may have a little bit of a wave to it. You can see how it's just a little full. If you pat it down with your hands, it'll lay flat, but it may look a little full. Now what happens is when we come around with the next round, it's going to pull that together just a little bit and you won't have that wave. So don't let that get you thinking, oh, it's getting a little wavy. That's normal. So okay. We're at the end of round eight and I'm just going to go up here to the top of my cluster. I let those strings hang in the back. I'll, I'll take care of them at the end and weave them in. I'm going to take my hook and you're going to go up here into the top of this cluster stitch right here. Insert your hook and just yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook and you just joined round eight together going to fasten off my red okay so now we're going to start round nine I'm going back to my white I'm sorry about these ends hanging here it's just easier for me to let them hang because this video is is pretty long to begin with um, okay so let's take your white I leave about a two to three inch piece as always. I just butt that right up there with the piece I just fastened off and we're going to insert our hook into this beginning chain three space. You're just going to grab that thread and pull your new thread through that chain three space. So for round nine we're just going to work a two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet in each chain three space around. So for the first shell stitch it is going to be different because our first double crochet will be a chain three. So we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. This is our beginning double crochet. So then we need to do one more double crochet, yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain three space. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. That's the first half of our shell stitch. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to work two more double crochet in the same beginning chain three space. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the space. You have three loops on your hook and they do tend to bend forward. Yarn over the hook and pull through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull through two loops. We need one more double crochet, so yarn over the hook insert it into that same chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You made your first shell stitch. So the repeat will be, let me grab these threads and get them out of the way a little bit. We're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, in each one of these chain three spaces around. So I'll show you one more time. Yarn over the hook, insert it into this next chain three space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. Three loops on hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. That's your first double crochet. 
yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain three space, yarn over the hook and pull it through that space. Three loops on hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, two loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. You just made your first two double crochet. Chain two, one, two, and we need to work two more double crochet in the same chain three space. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain three space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the space. Three loops on hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only, two loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain three space, yarn over the hook and pull it through the chain three space. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. You have two loops left, yarn over the hook and pull it through both loops on your hook. That is your two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, or what some people call a shell stitch. So go ahead and repeat that around, work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, in each chain three space around, and I will meet you at the end of round nine. I'm at the end of round nine and this is what your work should look like and you should have a total of 36 of these shell stitches around. So for now for rounds 10 through 12 uh, you're going to have three rounds all made the same and it's almost the same as this round only we're going to add a chain three slip stitch into our last double crochet of each shell around so to finish round nine we're going to come over here to the top of the beginning chain three so come over find the top count up one two three and we're going to slip stitch yarn over the hook and through all loops on your hook we just slip stitched round nine together so for round ten we need to get over to the beginning chain two space so I just take my hook and I slip stitch into this next double crochet here yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on the hook my goodness it seemed to stitch today okay then I'm just going to slip stitch in the chain two space to bring me where I need to be so there you're at your beginning chain two space of the round so we're going to chain three for our first double crochet so one two three then we're going to make another double crochet yarn over the hook insert it into that chain two space yarn over the hook and pull it through the space three loops on the hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops only two loops on the hook yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops now we're going to chain two and at this point you should know how to do the double crochet because we've done quite a few so I'm just going to say double crochet instead of walking through each step of the stitch so yarn over the hook and work a double crochet yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet all in that same beginning chain two space so you just made your shell stitch so for round 10 the only difference will be we're going to chain three one, two, and three, and then we're going to come down and you're going to insert your hook into the top of the double crochet and then you're going to come over here to the side. So you're going through both of those loops of that stitch, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. It makes just a little fancy loop in between your shell stitches. So now for the repeat, you're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet shell exactly as this in the chain two space, and then we're going to do the chain 
three slip stitch in the last double crochet made and that will be your repeat around so let me show you one more time grab my thread here yarn over the hook and work a double crochet yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet chain two yarn over the hook and work another double crochet all in that same chain two space yarn over the hook and work another double crochet so you just worked two double crochet chain two to du double crochet all in that next chain two space of that next shell now we're going to do our chain three and slip stitch in that last double crochet so chain three one two and three again you're going to go into the top of that last double crochet made just under that one thread of that top of that stitch and then you're going to come over here in the side of the double crochet and just go under that top loop so you should have three loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on your hook and that is your repeat to work around so go ahead repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round 10 I'm over at the end of round 10 and again your work may be a little roughly this is I'm really trying to make this roughly but if you lay your hands down and flatten it out it it lays pretty flat but if you do have a little ruffle it will work itself out with the next two rounds so let me slip stitch round 10 together you just worked your last you just worked your last chain three and slip stitched in that last double crochet so all you're going to do is come over here and find your beginning chain three count up one two three insert your hook in the top of that chain three space yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook okay this is being difficult there we go so to start round 11 around round 11 and round 12 are exactly the same as round 10 so you're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet Boy, my hands just don't want to work today okay you're going to just slip stitch into that next double crochet You're going to slip stitch into that beginning chain two space and this is where you start your round you're going to chain three one two three that acts as your beginning double crochet you're going to yarn over the hook and work a double crochet chain two yarn over the hook and work a double crochet yarn over the hook and work another double crochet so you have your chain three double crochet chain two two double crochet your first shell exactly as round ten now you're going to chain three one two three you're going to come down and you're going to go into the top of that last double crochet made and then down through the top side so you should have three loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops so the only difference between round 10 and round 11 is you're going to be jumping over your little loop you made so you finish this stitch but you're going to yarn over the hook and jump right over to your next chain two space so you're still working in your chain two spaces only so your repeat will be yarn over the hook work a double crochet let me 
me zoom in. I zoomed out to show you the end of that round. This might help see better. Yarn over the hook, work a second double crochet. So you have two double crochet in that next chain two space of that shell. You're going to chain two, yarn over the hook, work another double crochet. yarn over the hook and work another double crochet. So that is your two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet shell. And now we're going to work our chain three slip stitch. So chain three, one, two, three. You're going to come down into the top of that last double crochet made and then you're going to go right in the top side under one uh, strand of thread only, yarn over the hook and through all loops on your hook. So that is your repeat. So it is exactly as row 10 so you're just going to repeat that around and you're going to skip over this chain 3 loop and work your shell stitch, your 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet and then you're going to make your chain three slip stitch loop in that last double crochet. And you're going to do that for rounds 11 and round 12. So go ahead and repeat this for round 11 and then repeat it again for round 12 and I will meet you at the end of round 12. I'm over at the end of round 12 and this is what your work should look like. So we're just going to join in the same manner that we have been joining. We're just going to come over here and we're going to insert, let me zoom in a little. We're going to come over here and we're going to count up to our third chain. One, two, three. We're going to insert into that third chain, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. <coughs> so now for rounds 13 through 15. It's almost the same as these, only we're going to be working, we're going to come over to our chain two space and we're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and then we're going to make our chain three slip stitch in that last double crochet. So instead of two, we're going to put three. We're going to have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, our chain three and slip stitch. So for rounds 13, 14, and 15, all three rounds will be done identical. So you're going to go ahead and slip stitch in that next double crochet. slip stitch in that stitch and we're trying to get over to our chain 2 space so go ahead and slip stitch in your chain 2 space. We're going to chain 3 for our first double crochet and then we need to make two more double crochet so yarn over the hook make a double crochet yarn over the hook and make your second double crochet So we have our chain three and two double crochet. We need to chain two, one, two, and now we need to make three more double crochet all in the same beginning chain two space. Yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet. Let me move this out of the way so you can see the stitches better. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet. So now you have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. We're going to come down and we're going to go into the top of that last double crochet we made and you're going to go in that just the top thread only to the side of that double crochet. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops on the hook. So this is going to be the start of our repeat. 
we're going to whoops we're going to skip all this and we're going to jump and work in each chain two space around so you skip all this in the middle and you're working in each chain two space so we need to work three double crochet chain two three double crochet all in this next chain two space so yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet here goodness sakes you're going to chain two and work three more double crochet all in this space and if you want to you can just take your fingers and push those stitches over so you have more room to work yarn over the hook insert it in that same chain two space work your first double crochet yarn over the hook insert it into the same chain two space and work your second double crochet yarn over the hook and insert into the same chain two space and work your third double crochet your shell stitch has been made you make three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to come down and go in just the front loop of that last double crochet made and the top loop on the side of that double crochet. Three loops on hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook that is your repeat so you're going to repeat that around so repeat the three double crochet chain two three double crochet and then you're going to chain three and come back and slip stitch in the top of that last double crochet and you're going to do this repeat in each one of the chain two spaces around so you will need to do round 13 round 14 and round 15 so three rounds exactly like round 13 so work rounds 13 14 and 15 with the same repeat you're going to join all rounds in the same manner as before you come up to the top of your chain three and join and i will meet you at the end of round 15. I'm at the end of round 15 and this is what your work should look like. So I'm just going to go up here and join my round together. If I can grab that string. We're just going to join like we always do. Let me zoom up here. We're going to go into the top of our beginning chain three. So you're going to count up one, two, three, insert into that chain three space, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. There we go. Okay, so we only have three rounds to go. So round 16, we need to get to the beginning chain two space. So we're going to slip stitch in our double crochets over to that beginning chain two space so just let's slip stitch over so I'm at the beginning chain two space that's the first chain two space of the round so for round 16 we're going to do four double crochet a chain three and four double crochet we are not adding our little chain three loop in this round it's strictly going to be four double crochet chain three four double crochet in each chain two space around so let's begin the first double crochet will be a chain three one 
two, three. We need to work three more double crochet, yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet, yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet, yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet. So with the third double crochet and the beginning chain three, you have a total of four double crochet. That's the first half of our beginning shell. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we need to work four more double crochet in the same chain two space. So yarn over the hook insert it into that same chain two space and work your first double crochet of the four. There is one. Yarn over the hook, work your second double crochet of four. There's two. Yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet of four. Now if I'm going too fast just pause that video, work your stitches, and then just hit that video again and pick up when you get caught up. Yarn over the hook and work your fourth double crochet. This is your first shell stitch of round 16. So now for the next shell stitch, let me grab some thread off of here, we're going to skip all of this and we're going to jump right over to the next chain two space. So this is the beginning of your repeat. You're going to do this in each chain two space around. Yarn over the hook and work your first double crochet of four. So there's one. Yarn over the hook and work your second double crochet of four. There's two yarn over the hook and work your third double crochet of four. There's three. Yarn over the hook and work your fourth double crochet. That is your first half of your next shell. Now we need to chain three for our center of our shell. I usually pull those stitches over a little. So let's chain three. One, two, and three. Now you're going to make four more double crochet on the same chain two space. Yarn over the hook and make your first double crochet of four in that chain two space. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space and make your second double crochet of four. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the same chain two space and make your third double crochet of four. Yarn over the hook and make your fourth double crochet of the four needed to finish your shell. So that's it. That's your repeat. You're going to work that. You're going to skip all these and work four double crochet, chain three, four double crochet shell in each one of the chain two spaces of each shell around. So just jump into each chain two space work that four double crochet, chain three, four double crochet. I will meet you at the end of round 16. We'll fasten off and get our last two rounds started. I'll meet you there. I'm at the end of round 16 and this is what your work should look like. You should have 36 <clears throat> of these four double crochet, chain three, four double crochet shell stitches around. So now I'm getting ready to join my round. <clears throat> so let me zoom in up close again. We're just going to come over. We're going to count up one, two, three. We're going to go into the top of that chain three space, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. I'm going to fasten off my work. And just pull that down. Be careful so you don't break your thread. I just let that hang there. I'll weave that in later. 
and I'll be right back to start round 17. Okay, I'm back and I did want to show you another way that I weave in my ends if you don't want to use a yarn needle. I just put my hook in the top of those stitches and I just weave it in and out. I pulled that to the front, now I'll pull this one to the back. And then I'll pull it to the front again. And because I'm going to be working in this chain two space, I also bring my stitches over here. That was to the front. This one will be to the back. I'll bring this one to the front. And I usually end with it in the back. Grab that chain stitch here. I'm a little trouble getting in that one. used to going in the front and then I'll just pull that to the back <clears throat> and then I let that hang there until I work my stitches over this chain three space then I'll clip that off because we weaved all the way across these stitches and in here so when you work your stitches in this beginning chain three space it actually helps secure that end and then you can just snip it off so that's another easier way um, to weave in your ends as you go so okay round 17 you're going to grab your accent color so i'm going to grab my red again sorry about the arm so i have my red i leave about two to three inches and for round 17 we're going to work 11 double crochet in each chain three space around so for our first chain three space we will be chaining three for the first double crochet so pull that thread through and chain three one two three and now we need to work ten more double crochet all in the same beginning chain three space so let me see if I can zoom up there we go so yarn over the hook insert it into that chain three space and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain space and work your second double crochet. And you're going to do this for a total of 10 double crochet plus your chain three and that will be 11 double crochet and as you can see I am working over my stitches over this <coughs> beginning thread to help secure it. So I have one, two, three, four, five. We need a total of 11 double crochet. So we need to make six more double crochet. There's one. There's two. Three. Four, five, and six. And I know I'm crocheting a little fast, but when I tell you to chain three and then work ten double crochet, you can pause the video and then when you're done, just start the video up again. That's the easiest way to do it because by this point you know how to do the double crochet. <clears throat> so we have our chain three is one, and then you needed you needed to work 10 more. So let me look here. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I worked my chain 3 and 10 double crochet. So all you're going to do for the rest of the round is we're going to, okay I forgot to read my instructions. We do need to put a single crochet <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to work that single crochet between this current shell here, let me get a close up, this current shell here and the next shell. We're going to place that single crochet right here in between. So insert your hook between the current shell and the next shell right in that space. Get these threads out of the way. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the space. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just worked your single crochet. 
okay, yarn over the hook, and we're going to work 11 double crochet. There's one. Two. Three. Four. five and then I always like tug them over a little to make room for the rest of your stitches six seven double crochet eight double crochet nine double crochet, ten double crochet, and eleven double crochet all in this chain three space of <clears throat> that next shell. So we worked our eleven double crochet, now we have to work our single crochet between this current shell we just worked and the next shell, so that's right in between between this shell and the next right in this space here. So insert your hook into that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the space, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops. You just made your single crochet. <clears throat> I'm going to take my hook out. So this is going to be your repeat. You're going to work these 11 double crochet into this next chain three space of the next shell. You're going to work this single crochet in between the current shell and the next shell right in this space here. Actually, it's right above your little chain three loop. So just go above that, insert it into this space, and work your single crochet around in between those two shells. So that's your repeat. Go ahead and repeat that around. I will meet you at the end of round 17 where you will end with a single crochet between your two shells, your two ending shells, and then we'll join to the top of our beginning chain three. So I'll meet you at the end of round 17. I'm at the end of round 17 and this is what your work should look like. You should have 36 of these 11 double crochet fans is what I call them. And you should have 36 single crochet in between the fans around. So we're just going to join our round. So let me zoom back up in here. I try to show the whole doily and then I try to zoom up so you can see since this is size 10 thread and it's pretty tiny. Okay, we're going to count up to the top of our chain three. One, two, three. Insert your hook and just join or pull through all loops on your hook. I'm going to fasten off my work. Okay, I'll be right back and we'll get round 18, our final round started, and we'll finish up this doily. I'll be right back. I'm at the beginning of round 18 or the end of round 17. This was the last single crochet you made of round 17 and we joined here in the beginning chain three space. So for round 18 we're going to skip this beginning chain three here. It's kind of hard to see right here and we're going to go into this second double crochet right here. So insert your hook into that second double crochet. We're going to pull our white through. So pull your new color through. Whoops. And you're going to chain one. We're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in the second double crochet. So insert your hook into that same double crochet, yarn over the hook, and work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. One, two. You're going to come back, insert your hook at the base of that single crochet just made in that same double crochet stitch, and work another single crochet. 
So you have a little single crochet V-stitch. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So now pull that back and you're going to skip this next double crochet and you're going to go into the next. You're going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in that same double crochet. And we're going to do that a total of four times across our fan. So this is number one. We need to do it three more times. So let me get the right thread. You're going to skip the next double crochet and you're going to insert your hook into the next double crochet. Let me get that thread out of there. I've been working my stitches around it. So single crochet chain two, single crochet all in that same double crochet. So that is two. We need two more. Skip the next double crochet. Insert your hook into the next double crochet and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. We need to do that one more time in this span. You're going to skip this next double crochet. You're going to insert your hook into the next double crochet. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So we make our little V stitches around our fan. So now what we're going to do, this is our beginning of our repeat. We are going to skip the last double crochet of the fan we just worked on. We're going to skip this. We're going to skip the last double crochet of the fan we worked on. We're going to skip this next double crochet and we're going to skip this beginning double crochet. Just like when we started, we skipped the first. So we're going to skip the last, the single crochet. We're coming over here to this next fan. We skip that first double crochet and we're going to insert our hook into this second double crochet here. So let me get my hook back in the loop. Get these threads out of the way. You're going to skip the last double crochet. You're going to skip the single crochet. You're going to skip the beginning, the first double crochet of that next fan. And we're going to insert into that second double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work a single crochet. Chain two and work a single crochet. Skip this next double crochet, insert your hook in the next double crochet, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in that same double crochet. You're going to skip the next double crochet, insert your hook into the next double crochet, and you're going to work your single crochet, chain two, single crochet all in that same double crochet stitch. You're going to skip the next double crochet, insert your hook into the next double crochet, and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. We're getting near the end of our fan stitch. We need to do one more. So skip this next double crochet, insert into that next double crochet, and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And that is our repeat that you'll be repeating around your doily for the last round. So now you will have one, two, three, four, five of the little single crochet shell stitches in each fan. So I'll go over it and tell you one more time. You're going to skip the last double crochet of the fan you just worked. So skip that last double crochet. You're going to skip the next single crochet 
and you're going to skip this beginning double crochet of the next fan. You will start your single crochet shells in that second double crochet. You'll work your shell, skip a double crochet, work your single crochet shell. You'll do that five times around your fan and then you'll start over. You'll skip the last double crochet, you'll skip the la you'll skip the next single crochet and then you will skip the first double crochet of the next fan and you'll continue on making your five little single crochet shells across each fan around. So go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round 18. I finished with round 18 and when you come around the end, let me zoom in, you would have finished with a single crochet shell and you join with a slip stitch in the top of that beginning single crochet. You fasten off, weave in your ends, and let me zoom back out. And this is what your finished doily should look like. I know this video was a little long, so I do appreciate you watching it and learning how to make this doily. And if you get the instructions and you know how to just follow along with the instructions, if you run into a problem, then just refer back to the video where you need help with. So thank you everybody. This pattern is available on my website, creativegrandma.net. You go up to the shop button at the top of the web page when you go to the site and then you click that and it'll take you to another page and my creative grandma patterns are up in the left side just click where it says creative grandma it will take you to all my patterns this is the value price pattern at 99 cents but when you're on there check out the free patterns I have some free patterns on on the site that are, are very nice as well so this pattern is number X must one so kind of Christmas abbreviated so number X M A S number one it's called the Christmas lace doily thank you everyone I hope you had fun making this project and please like comment and subscribe to my channel happy crocheting everyone